Okay, as per the assignment, I created a new folder called Test Plates. Now, in that folder, I started two files called plates.py and testplates.py. Now, in plates.py, I just copied in my code from my original plates.py. So, this is the code from the original assignment. Now, I just want to make one or two amendments to it. First of all, I'm just going to paste in the if underscore underscore name, etc. etc. into it. Now, the next thing I need to do in order for test plates to work is here on this original code, we're checking the length to make sure the length is between two and six. And it's implied here that it's if it's true, then this should happen and that should happen. And this elif statement here is also checking for alphanumeric characters only. So it's, it's discarding any symbols. And that this one here is checking that the first two characters are actually letters and not numbers. So this is also implied to be true and then this stuff will happen. But for our test up how to work, we need explicit false statements. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in an else return false for this statement here, which is down here somewhere. So that covers this one here. Now for this statement, we need to put another else return false here. Okay, so again, this covers this one. That is an alphanumeric and the first two characters are letters, not numbers or symbols. And this covers this one for the length. So this is the length and this is the elif. So now that's done, let's have a look at our test.py. So in here, I just wrote out some uh, to-do list. So we need to import our statements and we need to test the length. So we need to define a function to test the length, make sure it's between two and six characters. We need to ensure that the two characters, the first two characters are letters. And we need to check that number is not in the middle. And we need to check that the first number that it's encountered is not a zero. And then we've sure there's no punctuation marks. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to import our statements here. So we're going to import from plates import is valid. So what this statement is doing is from plates.py import is valid. Let's bring that into our code. So that means we can use what's in this program here in our program. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to test the length to make sure it's two and six characters and no less and no more. So we're going to define a function. I'm just going to call it length, test length. We have to call everything test. So length. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the assert statement. So I'm asserting that is valid and that Character A, A, which is two characters, is equal to true. So this is asserting that two letters is true. So what about six? So I'll just copy this, paste it, and here I will do six letters. So now we're covering that two letters is true and six letters is true. So the next thing we need to do is see what's false. So one letter is false and so is seven. So I'll do turn that to false. So this is covering our length. So we're testing our length. We're testing that, we're asserting that the function is valid from here. We're testing two letters. So a minimum has to be two letters, so that is true. So we're gonna say that is correct. This, this true assertion is correct. And that six letters is correct. And then one letter is outside our two minimum. That's false. 
and seven letters is over our six maximum. So that's false. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to fix my spelling. Then I'm going to CD into my test folder. And I'm going to PyTest. And we see that we passed. So we have one function here and it's passed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to test my first two characters, make sure they're letters. So I'm going to define a new function. I'm going to say test start. You can call it whatever you like. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to assert. I'll just copy this. So what I'm doing is I'm testing the first two characters that they are letters. So AA is, a, is two letters. So that is true and that is correct. Now A1 is a letter and number, so that should be false. So 1-1 one, one are two numbers and that should be false. And 1A is again one number and so that should be false. So if I run PyTest again, we see that we have two functions and the two of them passed. So the next thing is to check the number in the middle to make sure there is no numbers in the middle. So I'm going to define test middle. So I'm going to do two assert statements here. I'm going to I'm going to assert that a a a and one two three is true because the number is not in the middle there's more numbers after it so it's not a number and then letters and then i'm going to assert that a1 a is false because there's a number in the middle so this is the numbers at the end and this has a number in the middle so again if i run pytest we see three so we have three functions one two and three and we all passed so now we need to test that the first number in counter is not a zero. So again, I'll define a new function, test. I'm going to say test zero. And I'm going to paste in my search statements. So the first number in counter is not a zero. So a, a, and then say one, two. That is true. And a, a, zero, one. That's the first number encounter is zero, so that should be false. So again, we'll try PyTest. And again, we have four functions passed. So one, two, three, four. So the last one now is punctuation. So I'm going to say define test symbol. Symbols. And here I'm going to put in my two assert statements. So I'm going to make that a a dot dot a a, and I'm going to make this one. I'm going to put in two question marks and some more letters. So this is catching symbols. So that should be false. So if symbols are detected, like dots or question marks, then that should be false. Um, actually, up here that's a bit too short. So I'm going to make that a bit bigger. So a a one two. BA, okay. So I'm going to try PyTest. And we have five passed. Perfect. So I'm going to check 50 now and see to make sure everything is correct. As you can see, we have all greens. So thank you for joining me in this video and hopefully I will see you in another one soon.